Good morning. Good morning. I'm Dr. Robin. This is Russ. Together we've created the Whole Food Muscle Club and written the book How to Feed a Human the Whole Food Muscle Way. And we work really hard to be here at 9.15 yes, every morning, Monday through Friday, to share information with you. Um, we're having to switch up our, our gym workout and do work in the morning and all kinds of stuff. But we try really hard to be here at 9.15 to share information with you. And it is so cold and my nose is so dry, it's just not even funny, <laughs> the craziness that's going on yeah. with the weather. It just turned into like the dead of winter for us. I don't know, it's crazy. Well, yeah, most of the country is dealing with that right now. It's true, it's true. So, today I wanna to talk to you about uh, fake sweeteners. Um, we've done, um, in the past, long series about each individual sweetener and those, those well, I was gonna say emails, those videos are available uh, to Whole Food Muscle Club members. They're uh, on the website. So we've talked about them individually, but I wanna talk about them as a whole group today um, because they are not good for you. And I know that when they first came out, they were supposed to be like this boon against obesity. It was supposed to solve the, the country's obesity problem because you know everybody has such a sweet tooth and fake sweeteners that don't have calories in them were supposed to be the solution. They were gonna solve the problem. Um, obviously that didn't happen because fake sweeteners are, you know, really big business and we still have an obesity problem. Right. And there's let a couple, go let's ahead. Say, let us not forget sodium saccharin, which of course was, uh, what was it called? I don't know. Uh, saccharin, I don't know. It's anyway. Like pink. Oh, yeah, the pink one? Yeah. Isn't it funny how everybody calls them by their colors? Anyway, so the issues with them are, are a, couple, a couple of things. One, when your body gets a sweet flavor, it expects calories. And so if you don't get those calories, good morning, Yolanda. Good morning, Yolanda. If you don't get those calories when your body gets that sweet flavor, later it says, hey, you gypped me calories and you end up eating more. Um, and they're not sure if, um, I, I, I'm not sure, I, I'm sure there's studies, if there's actually an insulin release because of the sweet sugar uh, flavor or if it's just psychological. But when you get that sweet flavor, your body will make up those calories later. Mm -hmm. um, so it doesn't actually save you calories. And that, you know, that's one of the reasons when people drink uh, diet soda, they gain weight. It's because the diet soda gives you sweet flavor, which your body expects calories, and so then you eat more calories. So diet sodas don't do you uh, any favors. Brenda, hey, good, good morning. morning it's good to see you. Um, so diet, diet soda, bad plan. The other thing is that those sweet sweeteners, the fake sweeteners, are a chemical that your body doesn't recognize. And so it passes through your, your um, GI tract, it doesn't get absorbed, it doesn't get digested, nothing happens to it. Like that, they end up um, just in the same form in your large intestine. And in your large intestine, they actually wreak havoc because your large intestine doesn't know what to do with them. And they can cause uh, insulin secretion there. They can also cause GI distress like diarrhea or constipation. They can, they can cause leaky gut. So there's all kinds of things that these uh, foreign chemicals can do to your GI tract that are not healthy. So, you know, people say, well, you know, but I really like my sweet flavor and it's better than sugar. I don't agree no, with that. No, I was say, we don't agree with that. Now, sugar is calories. Granted, sugar's gonna make you gain weight. Yep, sugar's gonna raise your insulin. Uh-huh, so, so do the chemicals, but at least your body knows what to do with sugar. So what I would encourage you to do is if you need that little bit of hit of sweet, first, you gotta work on that, right? Yeah. You gotta, gotta figure that out. Right. But choose something that your body actually knows what to do with it. And if you can use uh, real fruit, that's you know that's even better because you know fruit doesn't do the same kind of things because it has all the fiber. The problem with sugar isn't that it's sweet; it's that it's missing the fiber. There's mm -hmm. if you were chewing on a sugar cane, like the actual sugar cane, it would be just as sweet, but you'd have to like really work at it be hard on your jaw probably right um, but you would be end up getting fiber with yeah. it and that's to say even fructose so if you take the sugar out of fruit and, and, and use that as a sweetener i mean you're, it's not any it's it's, it's treated the same way as uh, table sugar sucrose yeah um so you know so it's not really advantageous if you, if you can like rob said if you can actually eat fruit to satisfy or satiate your your need for sugar that would be ideal yeah, so, and all of the things, all the sweeteners, whether you're, you know, you're talking about honey, or you're talking about sugar, you're talking about agave, you're, you know, 
all of them, your body treats them all the same. Mm -hmm. They all get broken down as long as they're real things that your body knows what to do with. They all get broken down the same way. They all get treated the same way. They all can turn into calories or turn into fat the same way. So there's no real uh, benefit. The exception of that is if you use uh, maple, no, not maple. Molasses. So maple, maple syrup is used the same way, but it's a little more natural. Molasses, it has some nutrients to it. So at least that's something. Right. Date and, sugar. I was going to say, and just, I mean, because I know when I used to be a bodybuilder and they came out with these jellies or these jams that had fructose, they were sweetened with fructose instead of sugar, and we used to think, okay, so now at least I'm eating something that's fruit based and it was better for me. And it's not. So, it's the same. So, yeah, I mean, so those jams and things that you find in the grocery store that say, you know, only uh, no sugar added, but they have fructose. I mean, because I don't know how they actually get away with that, but... Because it's not actually cane sugar. It's not cane sugar, and, yeah. if they, and if they can, you know, qualify as that, I guess, or whatever. Yeah, that they, so they out. can do that. But yeah, it's really not any better for you. It's still, your body's still going to think it's sugar, and it's going to treat it like that. Yeah. And then date sugar, which we've talked about before, is actually just dried dates, and so it has the fiber in it, and so it's at least... It's at least that. It's optimal, I guess, as far as sugar goes. As far go. as sugar goes. Deborah, good, good morning. morning Deborah. It is cold. I know. Yes. I told you to keep it by you, and you yes, didn't. Yes, you didn't. You sent it Now it's way. cold here. <laughs> um, so what you want to do is just go ahead and, and use the real sugars, and then wean yourself off of it um, and, you know, as you can. I've definitely found that um, fruits are really good for me. And for me, and this is going to sound ridiculous, because I know we tell you don't blend your food, chew your food. But if I need something sweet and I'm you know, really struggling with it, if I blend a, a little smoothie together with some soy milk, that for me is like, oh, I'm having a treat, which is still the whole food. But it's, and we've told you this before, when you blend your food, it's 15% more easily available. So it gets digested faster, which means you're hungry sooner. So not ideal. Don't do that for a meal. Smoothies are not a meal, a snack. but if you want to have it to like have that sweet flavor, because when you blend it, for some reason, it feels like it's sweeter to me the, the the fruit is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird that way. But you want to really get away from uh, the fake sugars because they're not doing you any favors as far as the calories go because you eat the calories later anyway, and they can really distress your GI tract. So chemicals your body don't doesn't know what to do with should not be ingested. It's really pretty straightforward, I think. Right. Anything you want to add about that? Uh, no. I mean, ideally, eat fruit if you need something sweet. Um, date sugar if you absolutely have to have sugar. And then we can go down the line from there, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Like we said, we did do uh, in the past a whole series on the different kinds of sweeteners and the way, you know, how to use them. Real fit sweeteners, fake sweeteners. And those videos are available um, to Whole Food Muscle Club members um, on our website. That's correct. Anything else? And you can go to WholeFoodMuscleClub.com to join uh, us. No. Um... I was just thinking about somebody asked us the other, asked me the other day what you know what it is that we do, and it, and it reminded me of the fact that you know I talked about how when I, when I was a bodybuilder when I was a personal trainer and, and in great shape, when I walked into the gym people automatically came to me and, and they knew that I had this this energy and this mm -hmm. you know this mm -hmm. like gladiator type of uh, you know I don't know mentality persona, or me mentality yeah. persona, and you know they came to me for advice and then as you know, I got older and I stopped working out so much. I, I no longer was that guy and I started missing that. And what's exciting now is... Starting to happen is again. That, is that it's starting to happen again. People see me working out. I work out like a maniac again. and They can see my muscles and they're like, oh, you know, and they're starting to mimic the exercises I'm doing. So I got that, as, as the one trainer said to me, the lion has entered the den, you know, mentality back. And, and so I said, so what we do is we help people get their gladiator back. Yeah. That's what we do. And I think that that really gets me excited. That we're able to go there and say, remember how you used to feel? That's what we do. We get you back to the way you used to feel. Mm -hmm. So if that's something you would like, reach out to us. We are happy to help you get happy there. Happy to help you do that. All right. Are we ready to go about our I day? I think we are. All right. And so with that, we'll say, eat real food. Mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day. Have a good guys. one. We'll see you tomorrow.